starting off with Keynote 522, addition of pembrolizumab to chemotherapy in early stage triple negative breast cancer. Improved event-free survival from 76.8% to 84.5%, consistent benefit across subgroups, irrespectively of EFS definition with addition of the pembro to neoadjuvant chemo. Metastatic triple negative cohort from tropion pantumor 01. Promising antibody drug conjugate datapotumab deruxtecan, ORR 34% and DCR 77% in heavily pretreated triple negative breast cancer vulnerable disease. Reasonable tox with low discontinuation. Palace final analysis does not find any benefit from adjuvant palbocyclic. Our expander out in New England, those who received chemo endocrine therapy had longer invasive disease free survival and distant relapse free survival. South and text trials 12 to 13 year follow up data. Significant relative reductions in distant recurrences and death persist for the use of OFS with either oral ET versus tamoxifen alone. Patient level meta analysis in premenopausal patients with HR positive early breast cancer see superiority of OFS plus AI versus OFS plus tamoxifen in terms of recurrence, but not mortality. This fire 2 randomized study clinical utility of molecularly guided target therapy matched to a tier 1-2 alteration in metastatic breast cancer. Benefit of target therapy in SCAT 1-2 genomic alterations compared with chemo. Pull analysis of the Mona Lisa study shows that intrinsic subtype is prognostic for OS. OS benefit across luminal A, luminal B, and HER2E intrinsic subtypes with RIBO versus placebo. No improvement in outcome in basal like with RIBO, largest benefit in HER2 express. The AMRAL study, the noble oral CERT alisastrant was superior to filbestrin in this analysis of phase three study, both in all patients and in patients with ESR1 mutant tumors. MA32RCT merformin does not affect cancer outcomes in either estrogen receptor positive or estrogen receptor negative tumors. Destiny Breast 03 subgroup analysis shows trastuzumab deruxtecan resulted in intracranial response rates of 64% versus 33% with TDM1. PADA1 is the first trial to demonstrate that resistance associated mutations in the estrogen receptor gene can be detected and targeted before tumor progression. Onco Alliance, a great presentation showing our current reality. Black women have a 40% higher death rate from breast cancer than white women. A huge congratulations to our colleague Fabrice Andre for this very well deserved award from AACR. That's it, folks. Some of the great trials out of San Antonio. We'll see you next week.